Hello everyone, welcome to Aaron's Collecting and Detecting. Just coming back at you with another video. Uh, today's video is going to be more of my rookie collection. Um, I still haven't gotten my debit card back yet. Um, if you didn't hear in a previous video, uh, I did have a fraud on my account. I got it fixed and instead of uh, blocking that person from having access to my account again, they uh, voided that, that debit card and I issued a new one, even though I didn't want them to, but they said that that's their policy, which I get it, but I just didn't want to wait. And well, when I was on there, I didn't ask how long it would take to get a card, but I still haven't gotten a card. So yesterday, actually this morning, um, I asked, when I would get a card, my card, um, and the lady said normally it takes between seven and ten days, but with the way the, the way the mail's been running, more like ten to fourteen days. So let's assume it's on the long end of that, and it's fourteen days. Now, who wants to go without their debit card for fourteen days? To me, I think that's ridiculous, and then I'm really pretty peeved about it. Um. So, yeah, just to let you guys know. Um, it was okay here today. It was uh, colder earlier than it got warmer. It was raining a lot of the day. Um, tomorrow it's supposed to be 73, but then go back to 50 the next day. But rain again tomorrow. So, it's fall weather. What can you do? But 73 is nice. I just wish it wasn't raining. Uh, also was watching some more scary movies. Uh, I watched uh, a movie about the Wax Museum, not the one with Vincent Price or the newer ones, the new one with uh, Paris Hilton, but the one uh, is from 1933. It's actually pretty good. It wasn't bad. Um, and then the original Night of the Living Dead, and watched some more Match Game, and that's about it. And had just chicken nuggets, french fries, and some carrots for dinner. So, for all those of you who are curious about that, there you go. For all of, for all of you who are just here for the cards, here comes that too. And so starting off, 2011 Heritage Minor League, Travis... Diarnod, Diarnod. I never figured out how to say his name. I know he's still playing somewhere. Not quite sure. If somebody wants to let me know. That's fine. I'm not quite sure myself. Um, from Bowman Platinum, top prospect. I know he's not really all that now, but he was a. He's a kind of a highly touted prospect for a little while there 2014 Bowman rookie two thousand fourteen Bowman platinum rookie two thousand fourteen Donruss rookie Two thousand fourteen Prism Rookie Rain uh, Insert Rookie. Then I have that same insert, but in a purple, and that's numbered sixty four out of ninety nine. Got that out of a pack. Two thousand fourteen tops. Yeah, 2014 tops. I was going to say something after that because I thought it was opening day, but it's not. It's just regular tops. 2014 Allen Ginter. 2014 Chrome. 2014 Chrome. Here's the opening day one. 
Uh, this is actually one of my favorite uh, pitchers. Um, he's had some arm problems and some other uh, problems the last couple years. But I know he's coming back on. Uh, Hugh Darvish, rookie, 2012, Bowman. I like him a lot as a pitcher. Uh, this is, uh, I think, Bowman Draft, maybe. Here is his Bowman Platinum rookie. Here's his Bowman Platinum Purple rookie. Here's his top finest, uh, finest moments insert. I think that's a cool looking die cut. Two thousand twelve Prism Rookie Revelance insert. Two thousand twelve tops. Another two thousand twelve tops. Two thousand twelve tops update rookie debut. Another one of those. Also from 2012 Tops, this uh, Blockbusters uh, insert. Two thousand twelve tops chrome. Two thousand twelve Allen and Ginter. Two thousand twelve triple play. This is a uh, focus subset. This is a two thousand six first Bowman of Chris Davis. Not the Chris Davis from Oakland, but the Chris Davis uh, that had a record for like O for what was it like O for fifty four or something like crazy like that. But he did hit 50-some home runs the one year. I know he had a couple 2-3 good years. Here's his uh, 2008 TriStar Projections. Prospect card. Uh, two th or 1985 Fleer, Eric Davis rookie. And then I got another one. I think I got three or four of those. I know I just got one in one of those lots that I got. Uh, 2000, uh, not 2000, two, 1985 Tops Eric Davis. First Bowman Chrome Chris Davis. And yes, he was on Milwaukee before he was on Oakland, which I'm sure a lot of you know. This is his 2011 Topps Heritage Minor League card. Two thousand thirteen Prism Rookie. Two thousand thirteen Tops Rookie. I know he got injured in 2019, but did he did he play at all this year? I don't remember hearing anything about him any from anywhere. 2013 Topps Chrome rookie. 
Uh, this is 2011 Donruss Elite Extra Edition Rookie Davis with a Yankees prospect. I don't know whatever happened to him. Uh, 2004 uh, First Bowman Wade Davis. Two thousand fourteen, uh, Bowman Chrome first Bowman Jacob Degrom rookie. It's a good one. I'm sure, a lot of people would like that one. Wish I had more than one. Uh, here's two thousand fourteen tops rookie. Tops update. Oops. Tops update actually. Here's his rookie debut from tops update. Another rookie debut. Here's his Topps Chrome rookie debut. That's from Topps Chrome Update. I don't have his rookie from Topps Chrome. Wish I did. Another one of those updates. Um, from two, 2017 Topps Chrome Update. Paul DeJong, rookie. Two thousand fifteen Bowman, first Bowman of Jose De Leon. Uh, nineteen ninety two. Looks like Upper Deck Minor League Blue Jays top prospect Carlos Delgado. And yep, a lot of people don't know he was a catcher at one time. Catching prospect. Good for him that they put him at first base, I believe, wasn't it? First base. 2010 tops, Ian Desmond, rookie. 2015 uh, Tops Heritage Minor League, Raphael Devers. Two thousand sixteen Bowman. Two thousand seventeen Bowman Chrome Prospect Devers. And of course, I don't have any. I have his 18s, but they're not in there. 2010. Is this 2010 or 2011? I don't know. One of them. First Bowman of Derek Dietrich. Two thousand eleven rookie up, update of Andy Dirks. I know Andy Dirk Andy Dirks a lot of you are probably like, who's that? Well he was he was pretty good for us for about a a season. So half of one season, half of the other, and then we kinda gave up on him. Uh two thousand ten. Bowman Draft, Josh Donaldson. Uh, 2010 Bowman Chrome Prospect, Josh Donaldson. 2010 Tops Update, Josh Donaldson. 2012 tops Brian Dozier tops update actually uh, from 2012 tops chrome Brian Dozier uh, 2012 tops chrome refractor Brian Dozier Two 
2005 Tops draft pick of Stephen Drew. Who was highly touted at one time. 2003 Bowman, first year. Chris Duncan, rest in peace. I was informed by Hats that uh, he passed away from a stroke or something like that. Which, if you, if you guys that are watching, some of you don't know, that's I had a stroke um, in 2010, actually. So it's been a little over 10 years now. I know, a stroke at 34. That's crazy. Uh, here's another Chris Duncan. That's a thick one. Those are one per pack. I don't know what that parallel is called, but... Uh, 1999 Tops traded Adam Dunn rookie, aka Big Donkey. Another one. 1986 Tops Lenny Dykstra rookie. Got a little smudge there. Uh, I got more of that, more Lenny Dykstras around. Give me a second. I'm going to get some more. K, 1993, uh, Fleer Ultra, Jim Edmonds rookie. Ninety-three, another one of those. A 2005 draft pick rookie of Jacoby Ellsbury. Sad that he kept getting hurt. I really like Jacoby Ellsbury. Another one. Another one. And another one. I got four of those. I got one in a box, and I bought three. Uh, 2000, is this 2001? 2001 tops. Uh, draft pick of Edwin Encarnacion. I know he looks real different. Look how skinny he is. And Brian Quattlebaum. Never heard of him. Hugh Quattlebaum. Not, did I say Brian? Why did I say Brian? Oh, I couldn't see on that side. Got another one of those. And then a chrome. Two thousand six tops update Andre Ethier rookie. Nineteen ninety one Bowman Carl Everett rookie. Uh, Two thousand eight TriStar projections Natalie Feliz prospect card. 2009 Tops Neftali Fleas. And that's update. Another one. Uh, 2011 Bowman Draft. First Bowman, Jose Fernandez. Rest in peace. I think he would have been the one of the greats, guys. He was really good in the time that he was here. Uh, 2013 Bowman Platinum rookie. 2013 Pinnacle rookie. Two thousand thirteen tops rookie. Two thousand thirteen All Star Game, Tops rookie from Update. Uh, a franchise forerunner insert from his rookie year with him and Giancarlo. Two thousand 
from 2013 Topps Chrome, his rookie. Another one. And then this is a some other is it X Fractor or um, Prism Refractor. One of those. I can never figure out which is which. But that one's that's a really cool card. I like that one. It's really cool looking. There's his Allen and Ginter rookie. Here is 1986 Donruss, Cecil Fielder rookie. Do not have his 1986 Fleer rookie, but I have 1980, a bunch of 1986 tops rookies. People loved him in Detroit. His son, not so much. Speaking of his son... From 2005, Donruss Champions, Prince Fielder. From 2005, Upper Deck Sweet Spot, Prince Fielder Rookie. From 2005, uh, Donruss Throwback Threads. Prince Fielder rookie. From 2006 Tops, Prince Fielder rookie. From 2006 Tops, uh, Brew Crew, little subset card. Him and Rick, Ricky Weeks, who was pretty good in his own right. Another player that came overcome by injuries. Uh, 2006 Tops Team Leaders, Prince and Chris Capiano from Tops Update. From Tops Turkey Red, Prince Fielder, rookie. From Upper Deck, Prince Fielder, rookie. And... From 1989, Upper Deck, Steve Finley, rookie. And that's in the high number set. So, that's it. Um, just a little advice if you ever plan on buying some 1989 Upper Deck. Um, make sure if you're wanting the Griffey, um, a better chance at getting one or two of them uh, by the low number box because the high number box has still has all the first series in it, but it also is mixed with um, the high series, so it's less of a chance because you got more cards. So it's less of a chance to have a Griffey or multiple Griffey. So make sure to get the low box if that's. But a low box would probably cost more than a high box, so that's up to you. But uh, just some advice. Um, that's about it, guys. That's all I got for today. Um, hope you liked them. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, please uh, give this video a like. Um, yeah, that's about it. I just got a text from Hats. That's why I was paused for a minute. I always get, it's like, I always get calls and texts at the time I do my videos. Everybody knows when I do my videos, and then they still call and text at that time. Um, he's asking me, <laughs> never mind, he's asking me if everything's okay. But uh, I'll talk at you guys later. You guys have a good one. Be safe out there, and be kind to one another, and just do what you love. Love what you do. Life's short. Have fun. Be safe. I'm out of here, guys. Bye.